Welcome back. For our next button related component, we're going to take a look at the toggle button component. Toggle buttons can be used to group related options. However, this time we also have access to the selected state of the button group, which can be utilized within the component. Let's learn how the component works. For our example, consider you have an editor in your app and you want to support formatting options like bold, italics, and underline. To implement that, we import two components. So in muibutton.tsx, at the top, from the core library, import toggle button group and toggle button. Next, we're going to import three icons from the icons library. Format bold icon, format italic icon, format underlined icon. The icons will be the content for the three buttons. Next, let's add the JSX. Begin by creating a new stack. Stack direction is equal to row and within the stack, invoke the toggle button group component. On this component, I'm going to add an aria label. So aria label is equal to text formatting. Within the component, we add three toggle button components. Toggle button. The first one is format bold icon. The second one is format italic icon. And the last one is format underlined icon. Each button we associate with a value. The first one is going to be bold, the second italic, and third underlined. Let's also add an ARIA label for accessibility. ARIA label bold, italic, and underlined. All right, now that we have the buttons, we need to handle the overall selected state of the button group as well as the change event. For that, begin by importing useState from React. Within the component, create a state variable. Let's call it formats, set formats, and the initial value is going to be an empty array. The type though is going to be an array of strings. Now we assign formats to the value prop on the toggle button group component. So toggle button group value is equal to formats. Next, we handle the change in the selected state by handling the on change event. So on change, and let's assign handle format change. Now let's define this function. const handle format change and this function receives two parameters. The change event which we do not need. This is of type mouse event and the second parameter is updated formats. And this is an array of strings. It may contain values like bold, italic, and underlined. Within the function body, call set formats, passing in updated formats. Let's make sure we spell on change right. And that should do it. Let's log formats to the console and head to the browser. You can see we have the toggle button group. When we click on a button, we have the pressed state for that button and the value is present in our formats array, bold. You can toggle more than one button and the value updates accordingly. Deselect bold and we now have just italic. 
This is a primary behavior of the toggle button and toggle button group components. Now let's take a look at some of the props that might be useful. First, some cosmetic props. On toggle button group, you can specify size is equal to small, medium or large, and color is equal to success, which is from the predefined palette we had a look at earlier. It could even be secondary, warning, info, or error. Next, we can also set orientation is equal to vertical. Take a look at the browser, and we see all the three props being applied. The final prop I want to showcase is the exclusive prop, which ensures you can select only one option at a time. So the user can format the text either in bold or italic or underlined. For that, add the exclusive prop on the toggle button group component. Next, we make changes to our state variable as it will just be a single value or null with the initial value being null. The same in the change handler as well. String or null. If we head back to the browser, refresh, the initial value is null. If I select bold, it is the string bold. If I select italic, bold is deselected and italic is selected. So we are able to toggle only one option at a time. And that is the value we see in the console. With that, we have covered the important button related components from Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at the text field component.